the best way to work with uh, radicals is remember you're looking for gold. Okay, what we refer as gold are the perfect squares. Four is a perfect square, nine, 16, 25, and so on and so forth. Okay, so for 63, let's write a 63 over here. 63 equal to seven times nine. Voila, there's our gold, because it's a perfect square. So radical of 63 equal to radical of seven times nine. And since it's multiplication, you're allowed to split it up. Okay, so multiplication in each one of them has their own house, if you want to think that way. Okay, and the radical seven, since it's not a perfect square, it's not on our not on our gold list here, and then we leave it alone, and then this one becomes a three, because this becomes a three square. Okay, so it took care of sixty-three. Let's take care of uh, seventy-two. Seventy-two is uh, eight times nine. Or if you can't see it. 36 times 2, which is even better because the largest piece of gold you can find is 36. 36 is a perfect square, so we're going to have 6 radical 2. Okay. And then there's one more. Radical 28 is 4 times 7. Let's go back up. And then 4 is a perfect square. That's 2 radical 7. So now go back to where you are originally have. That was uh, radical 63 plus radical 72 minus radical 28. So let's plug it all in. Radical 63 is radical uh, 7, uh, 3 times that. Okay. Next one is 6 radical 2, and then it's 2 radical 7. Okay. Think of this one as apple. This two look like the same. So three apples minus two apples left with one apple. And there's nothing you can do over here because it looks like orange, right? And then here's your answer. That's it. All right. Have a confident day.